Hello everyone. We have uh, we have wonderful session. Uh, we had wonderful session by Dr. Sujata. Now let's move on uh, with academic session. Uh, academic session four, uh, which is taken by Dr. Gul Paltasi. She is a professor. She has been uh, had been a long time chair of the KTI Research Committee. She graduated from School of Physiotherapy and Rehabilitation as at Haltesp Haltesp University in nineteen eighty six. Completed master in science degree in exercise physiology department in Middle East Technical University in 1990 and PhD in physiology department in Gazi University Medical Facility faculty in 1994. She served on the faculty of Estep uh, University from 1995 to 2014, where she initiated and participated in numerous kinesiotaping research activities. She continues to mentor high-level research as coordinator of physical therapy and rehabilitation with Given Private Hospital, Ankara. And today's her topic uh, for uh, lecture is effects of kinesiotaping on pain. Thank you, Dr. Gul. And now over to you. Hi, dear distinguished participants. Uh, I would like to share first of all my screen. Yes. First of all, thank you for inviting me to this symposium. Your invitation uh, honored me. When I first came to the International Federation of Hand Therapists uh, Congress in New Delhi in 2012, your country fascinated me. The colors, atmosphere, and how people in your country were incredibly impressive. Without COVID-19, perhaps we will be together in a face-to-face -to -face symposium in future. I hope to come to your country once more. Now, I would like to introduce myself after retiring from Hajitepe University in 2014. As a lecturer, I have been starting to work at the physical therapy rehabilitation department in a private hospital in Ankara as a coordinator. Uh, and uh, although we work with all medical branches, we are planning both functional rehabilitation and exercise prescription for healthy individuals in the center of wellness, besides intensive care, cardiology, orthopedics, inpatient, outpatient in uh, geriatrics and neurology and cardiac rehabilitation patients. Meanwhile, we use kinesiotaping. We are frequently in both research and treatment programs. Now, today I would like to give a presentation entitled The Effects of Kinesiotaping on Pain uh, Related Evidence Based Applications. Now, uh, when I was uh, uh, as an uh, instructor in uh, Albuquerque 2008 with uh, Dr. Kasse, uh, and actually I had learned a different kind of uh, physiological effects of kinesiotaping. Uh, Kinesiotaping, uh, it stimulates proprioceptors which respond to position, pressure, uh, and stretch, and also stimulates mechanoreceptors, and then uh, facilitates lymphatic drainage by lymphatic lifting skin to create an area of low pressure. And kinesiotaping is a therapeutic taping. You know that the technique developed by Dr. Kinesiotaping over 40 years. Ego. The tape is typically applied over and around muscle to prevent over contraction. Kinesiotaping is used to decrease pain and inflammation by improving lymphatic and uh, blood circulation without restricting the range of motion of affected part. This technique relieves pressure and irritation of the nociception uh, receptors that can create pain. Now, that, that one is the, uh, the mechanism uh, for pain relieving effect is through the stimulation of sensory pathways in the nervous system by increasing effort feedback uh, and by diminishing the input from nerve fibers, conducting nociception due to the gate of uh, gate control theory, like transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation, and by lifting the skin directly reduces pressure on subcutaneous 
nociceptors like epidermis and dermis and fascia. Now the mechanism and uh, is uh, related to the myofascial pain control. Pain is partially mediated via the endogenous uh, mechanism of the brain uh, term the medial nociceptor system, which is taught to contribute to the emotional component of pain. This system is believed to be influenced by patient expectation, which uh, in turn reduces pain via descending inhibition and the release of opioids. And furthermore, as you see in this slide, the tape microscopically lifts the skin after applying kinase taping. Did you see uh, the epidermis and the, we, uh, the, it has and convulsions and also lymphatic drainage and thus reducing inflammation in the affected areas? Now, we say literature about kinase taping and pain. And uh, when I searched in the PubMed, 208 uh, articles found it. And uh, searching in details, control clinical trial 86 and randomized control trial 83 articles found uh, in uh, these areas. Now, I also uh, not a trend suggesting that the kinase taping uh, might improve pain-related outcomes when used as an uh, adjunctive modality to physical therapy. Now, the literature review on pain in kinase taping has uh, two different types of research articles, effects of pain, and one of them is related to kinase taping versus no treatment. Uh, secondly, kinase taping versus sham taping and thirdly, kinesotaping versus other interventions, and four, kinesotaping plus other interventions and versus other interventions alone. Now, let's uh, take uh, in details all of the articles and, uh, the, uh, in this presentation. And actually, uh, I would like to explain in details the kinesotaping versus no treatment. Uh, the firstly, and did you see this slide? The kinase taping uh, using uh, in the epidermis and dermal uh, areas. And uh, the uh, authors found that the epidermal dermal distance uh, and may reduce the sensation of pain, edema, and inflammation. This is a good uh, research article in, published in Physiotherapy Theory in, uh, and Practice in 2015. And uh, then the, another uh, research article uh, from our department and then uh, published in the Journal of Sport Rehabilitation in 2019. And actually we found the same uh, results uh, like the previous studies. Muscle soreness returned the baseline value is 72 hours. So 22 to 24 to 72 hours post exercise only pain reduce again. Now these uh, studies uh, related to my assistant's uh, master of science thesis, the effect of kinesiotaping application um, in uh, surgeons uh, who have uh, musculoskeletal pain after performing surgery, kinesiotaping would be an effective method for reducing neck and low back pain and improving functional performance. Uh, we applied just uh, three days and uh, last day, fourth day, and follow-up period for uh, kinesiotaping effects on the uh, low back and back areas. Uh, did you see this slide, the uh, first uh, and uh, upper level of uh, figure uh, related to neck pain and uh, it shown that the weight changes and secondly low back uh, change uh, totally and they of the low back pain and uh, visual analog scale and fourth day reduce uh, completely and then the other uh, studies uh, show that a different kind of methods uh, in applying kinase taping by using uh, correction methods and considering its mechanical correction effects, 
taping may be used an injective technique to decrease pain and improve performance during daily activities and or uh, exercise programs. And second one is related to uh, effect of kinesia taping versus sham taping. We have a lot of uh, articles related to sham or uh, placebo uh, studies. And these studies involve participants with patellofemoral pain, osteoarthritis, shoulder rib pain, and whiplash or low back pain. The outcomes evaluated were pain and disability. Kinesia taping was either uh, no more effective than sham taping, or its effect was too small to be considered clinical worthwhile. And uh, some of studies uh, showed that uh, no benefit in decreasing pain. Uh, this uh, upper level of studies is related to, from my uh, assistant's uh, thesis and related to just only patellofemoral pain syndrome. And uh, again, the bottom of this study from, again, in Turkey, and no benefit in decreasing pain by using a sham uh, method. And uh, on the other hand, uh, some authors found that the kinesiotaping has positive effect, effect in reducing of pain in knee osteoarthritis. This is a good result for applying kinesiotaping. So another uh, articles uh, related to uh, the shoulder pain. Now, uh, on the other hand, uh, I can explain in detail the meaning of the uh, sham and placebo. Placebo, same tape and different technique. Sham, different tape, but same technique. And uh, actually, uh, if the kinesia taping does indeed function via descending inhibition or uh, some similar mechanism, it is possible that the placebo kinesia taping provides enough the stimulus have a therapeutic effect in terms of pain reduction. Now, uh, all the, uh, the talent, uh, the, this is the first study for uh, shoulder pain uh, or clinical uh, efficiency and showed a effect of time on pain with the application of kinesia taping in patients with shoulder impeachment. And similarly, and uh, Gonzalez in uh, Iglesias, uh, this study uh, published in Journal of Orthopedic Sports Physical Therapy in 2009, uh, and actually demonstrated that pain was significantly lower in the kinesiotaping group than the placebo uh, kinesiotaping group immediately and uh, at 24 hours post-application in patients with acute whiplash injury. Now, next study is related to a patient with chronic low back pain, and uh, Castro Sanchez et al. found that pain reduced uh, significantly uh, over placebo kinesia taping after one week uh, of kinesia taping wear and reduced pain and disability symptoms. Now, next uh, one, next study, my uh, uh, compact of uh, the related to the other interventions, including physiotherapy modalities and electrotherapy and uh, exercise. Now, uh, according to published uh, research studies, revealed the uh, significant advantages effect of kinesia taping and over other non-invasive techniques in the improvement of pre intensity uh, at post-intervention and follow-up. Two studies were single studies with low risk of bias, um, bias involving uh, participating uh, participates uh, with chronic low back pain and mechanical uh, neck pain. We studied uh, on this uh, slide, you show that the additional effect of laser taping, the, another group uh, received that the mobilization techniques, uh, uh, including and the Syriac mobilization techniques of, for trigger points uh, in cervical region. And then uh, there, uh, there were no uh, differences in headache intensity, neck painless time, and quality of life between both groups. We can use all, uh, always that the kinesiotaping uh, instead of uh, manipulation techniques in this study. 
And the, another study is related to chronic low back pain uh, patients and actually uh, the doctors use uh, by measuring of the uh, electro myography uh, electrodes uh, during the work bending uh, and then uh, divided into three groups kinesiotaping plus exercise kinesiotaping alone or exercise alone the best one is therapeutic exercise plus kinesiotaping effects uh, uh, short follow-up period and uh, completed the best results and uh, then the another uh, uh, articles um, related to uh, patellofemoral pain syndrome and compola the law of the slides uh, and below of the slides and as you see the compola at all showed that the kinesiotaping did not have significantly greater uh, benefits than mechanical uh, patella taping uh, for anterior knee pain and actually uh, it has uh, similar effects for reducing pain and disability function and then the overall uh, kinesiotaping taping uh, effects uh, on Friedman said that did not report between group uh, differences in pain severity as a continuous outcome at equivalent time points, but did report significantly more rapid re uh, resolution of symptoms uh, with kinesiotaping taping than with physiotherapy. And uh, the, another uh, articles uh, related to, uh, again, uh, from our department, uh, my assistant's Master of Science thesis uh, in basketball players with chronic inversion uh, ankle uh, sprains, uh, published in 2011 in the uh, International Journal of Sports Physical Therapy. The uh, other one is related to versus uh, massage versus kinesiotaping. And then um, all uh, overall, uh, the effects of uh, that the more repeat reduction of pain in uh, trigger neck pain problems. And uh, we published a new article in the knee. Uh, the kinesiotaping has more effect at uh, enhancing knee strength and decreasing pain intensity and self-reported knee function in uh, anterior cruciate ligament reconstructed patients. The uh, article published in 2016, uh, especially ACL reconstructed in individuals with higher uh, kinesiophobia levels. And then uh, the other uh, articles, uh, again, relate to kinesiotaping versus exercise. Uh, and uh, uh, we uh, studied on the uh, caesarean uh, section of the woman abdomen uh, and the, the effect of uh, exercise are uh, versus kinesiotaping. The, another one is related to low back pain. And this one is the kinesiotaping provided significant improvements in pain and disability. Just new published last month, published uh, in uh, uh, peer review journals, uh, science sanitation index journals in clinical rehabilitation uh, and effects of kinesiotaping uh, versus compression uh, stalking on pain, edema, functional capacity, and quality of life in patients with chronic venous uh, disease. This is again a randomized control trial and um, uh, stalking uh, is the best result uh, than kinesiotaping, but kinesiotaping uh, intergroups and before and after uh, studies, uh, the symptoms of pain and edema decrease, functional capacity increase, and quality of life improved. Now, this is the just new uh, Finnish studies uh, related to the sterile kinesiotaping application. Uh, as you see in this slide, this is a new pre-cut um, EDF uh, sterile material. And uh, our orthopedic surgeon, Dr. Atai, applied during uh, surgical skills uh, in uh, patients with anterior cruciate ligament reconstruction. And um, we uh, uh, have uh, a different kind of positive impact for reducing pain and at the amount 22 hours for uh, 72 hours for surgery incision level uh, and upper leg in patients 
with ACL reconstruction uh, not published and just finished and uh, last uh, two months ago. And uh, next one is related to effects of kinesiotaping plus other interventions versus other interventions, including manual therapy, shockwave therapy, and exercise uh, program, uh, uh, including the, all of the physiotherapy and rehabilitation modalities and invasive, non-invasive uh, materials. In the uh, evaluated outcomes, uh, kinesiotaping was no better than other interventions at all for participants with rotator cuff lesion or an impediment shoulder syndrome, chronic neck pain, patellofemoral pain syndrome, and tennis elbow. Now that the study, uh, we studied uh, on uh, subacromial impediment syndrome, and actually all patients um, kinesia taping and exercise group and manual therapy and exercise uh, group are divided into two groups and then kinesia taping may have eject effect of reducing night pain immediately. That one is a no difference between reducing for pain and disability function. Now the groups, uh, the all of uh, treatment protocols uh, two times uh, a week and totally six weeks. Then the pain decreased immediate after application, especially in uh, reducing uh, the night pain. Now that one uh, is another uh, studies, again, in neurologic rehabilitation and kinesiotaping and versus and kinesiotaping uh, and the other uh, protocols uh, inside uh, in this study and uh, published in 2017 Journal of Rehabilitation Medicine and kinesiotaping may be an alternative treatment option for uh, stroke patient with hemiplegic shoulder uh, pain. Now the another study from our department short-term effects of high intensity laser therapy one group and second group manual therapy and third group kinesiotaping and last group, just only an exercise program in patients with subacromial impediment syndrome. All three groups and first three groups plus um, received plus uh, exercise program for uh, glenohumeral joint. And then this uh, study published and two days ago, uh, Korean Journal of Family Medicine. And we uh, have four groups in uh, low back pain without neurologic deficit. One group received pretzel uh, exercise uh, manual therapy uh, programs, including uh, the some of uh, maneuvers uh, like that, the pretzel, and uh, some of the mobilization techniques according to CREAX, and uh, plus stabilization exercise. Second group, reflex therapy application. Uh, plus stabilization exercise, third group kinesiotaping plus stabilization exercise, and fourth group just only uh, received stabilization exercises. Then we published uh, uh, this uh, article uh, two days ago, as I mentioned before that, and uh, then kinesiotaping uh, uh, after applying uh, all uh, the muscles and immediately reduced the pain. <clears throat> and then uh, the decreased kinesiotaping, uh, the uh, results. And actually, the other uh, studies are just new published uh, in uh, some of journals and related to uh, polymer dysmenorrhea. And the, another one is a chronic low back pain and hand osteoarthritis, and um, slip bruxism, especially chin retraction maneuver uh, in a, a occlusal splint uh, versus kinesiotaping. And the results, uh, again, the results good, uh, applying uh, kinesiotaping with the um, other interventions. 
Now, this is an interesting study, just new published in Journal of Body Work Hormone uh, Therapies in 2017. And then uh, there are two, three groups in, in this uh, study. And then one of them is related to received just on the patellometization technique and um, uh, upper level of the slide. And the another group, uh, kinesiotype, lateral rotation of the femur and tibia. The last group, uh, not treatment. Just uh, only three groups uh, uh, received uh, plus exercise programs. And actually, uh, did you recognize in this slide the uh, two kinds of uh, kinesiotaping methods? And uh, one of them is, uh, again, in the metallization of the patella and second one rotation of the tibia and uh, also femur uh, both of the mechanical correction technique and also reduce the pain uh, after 12 weeks and show the in figure uh, that uh, the reduced pain immediately uh, lateral rotation of the femur and tibia the best one and the red circle and uh, we concluded uh, the studies uh, related to lateral epicondylitis. And actually, uh, we studied, uh, finished in 2015, uh, presented in 13 symposium in Tokyo, uh, and um, annual research symposium during annual research symposium and lateral epicondylitis. After two years, we published this uh, research study in peer-reviewed journal, knee surgery, sports traumatology, arthroscopy, and actually two, three groups uh, were uh, here. Then first group, physiotherapy kinesiotaping, and uh, second group, physiotherapy shockwave therapy, and third group, kinesiotherapy uh, taping and shortwave therapy. The best result, uh, in the study, kinesiotaping plus physiotherapy showed better results, short-term intervention in decreasing pain during activity uh, after uh, six uh, weeks than the results. Now, what do we learn about uh, pain up to here? Now, actually, we have uh, different uh, kind of uh, research articles and the fourth research as I mentioned before that, the, all of the, the overall uh, results of this research, and it provides immediate pain relief in the first 24 hours following application, and no studies long-term outcomes, muscle and tendon kinesiotaping application are better with supervised exercise program, especially uh, mechanical correction of kinesiotaping and ETF applications better than the others. And actually, future research uh, on recognize the taping on pain, especially in those patients uh, utilizing uh, a placebo, should focus carefully on controlling for patient expectations. Now, what about the failure of research? And um, the research uh, studies uh, have small sample sizes, no long-term follow-up, no power analysis, Use of fake kinesiotaping, this is not original. Um, uh, the, uh, you recognize the, from research studies, kinesiological technique, uh, key tape like that. And um, this is uh, not good results. And placebo versus shame. The meaning of the, this uh, terminology is important for this thing of the re uh, research studies. Uh, failure of methods and failure of techniques in research study. What about the take home message? We're going home, uh, we're taking uh, some message about kinesiotaping. Uh, the mass, uh, most cost effective, the most time effective, the most user friendly, the one that works best for patient and it can be applied by the patient. And additionally, subsequent uh, research uh, articles uh, should use more measures, such as pain, range of motion, and disability indices, as pain is a partially 
psychologically mediated uh, outcome measure and need more research studies, including randomized controlled trial, clinical trial, or control clinical trial. And thank you for your attention and greetings uh, from all physical therapists during this meeting. Thanks, Lani. Now, hi everybody. And actually, uh, my name is Gül Baltacı. Uh, greetings from Turkey. Uh, I'm gonna uh, uh, questions uh, answer uh, some of questions uh, here, and uh, then uh, one question is related to strapping tape and supporting taping is. Uh, commonly used by our clinicians. Is there any difference? Yes, of course, there is a difference uh, because of the um, supporting taping is related to uh, actually the rigid or athletic tape, uh, which is fix up uh, joint or muscle uh, for uh, injured area, uh, the like a or uh, cast uh, of uh, materials. And uh, strapping tape, uh, like elastic tape or elastic like an elastic bandage and then uh, this is a good material but uh, not fixed up the joint or muscle uh, you know that the joint is a flexible and example knee joint and uh, is responsible for just only a flexion and extension while walking uh, the during uh, activities you can not fix up the uh, on the joint but kinesia taping and supportive uh, tape is a uh, good material for uh, fixed up the joint. Uh, and uh, then uh, the uh, part of treatment uh, program, uh, we can use, of course, the uh, board of materials in that time. And uh, the, another question is related to the difference between the colors of taping. No difference each color uh, affects. Um, the only uh, all of the materials uh, organic. Uh, according to the trio uh, lie down and then uh, the material uh, and actually uh, there are five uh, different colors in kinesia taping beige blue red white and black uh, these are all of the as i mentioned before that the uh, organic uh, materials and the, another question is related to which one is water resistant materials and the new one uh, is material uh, performance plus uh, which is a new one uh, we always use in uh, athletes especially in uh, tennis players uh, last study completed uh, the two uh, months ago uh, finished this uh, results of the, this study we will be published uh, next month and actually, uh, and all of water resistance, uh, no problem, just only related to uh, the uh, uh, salty uh, or like uh, uh, sea uh, after swimming uh, uh, your uh, an exercise program for the, uh, this one, you can fix it up uh, on your uh, skin. And the other question is related to in hemophily. Uh, patients uh, can we use uh, in hemophily patients having muscle bleeds or joint bleeds and uh, actually in hemophily patients uh, this is uh, really uh, careful areas and, and careful skin area and we have to be careful is any allergic reactions or we cannot uh, apply on bleeding area and uh, of course uh, i always uh, work uh, with the doctors and i can ask uh, some of uh, applying and uh, kinesia taping in that areas uh, to uh, uh, his or her doctor now uh, is this temporary te uh, treatment to another question, Dr. Poja Tigra? And I, I, no, I don't agree with you. And actually, uh, the kinesia taping, uh, as you see in uh, some of uh, research articles, 
and real treatment, uh, alternative treatment uh, approach. And uh, you have to support other treatment options, uh, including some of exercises, and uh, some of exercises and uh, regarding uh, Pilates, yoga, um, and calisthenic exercises, and electrotherapy or injection therapy or um, uh, the uh, manual therapy techniques, uh, as you see in research articles. And you have to uh, uh, use uh, these materials uh, while running and while uh, jumping and some of uh, athletes uh, and it's, it is very easy to use the um, support all of muscles and joints and ligaments. Now another question is, is it effective in varicose veins? No, I don't uh, think so. And varicose veins is uh, really uh, dangerous applying the for um, this area because you know, that that's related to the um, uh, heart uh, and uh, uh, muscle, uh, the problem. And actually, uh, this is a good question, uh, but we cannot uh, use uh, in all uh, veins area. Uh, of course, we use the uh, the lymphedema, reducing the lymphedema uh, areas, uh, and actually uh, Nihan uh, will be mentioned about uh, uh, after two speakers, uh, but uh, this is not good, uh, the varicose uh, when in aggravated uh, the symptoms. And uh, how kinesiotaping could be used for patients post-stroke? Of course, we apply use uh, the uh, different kinds of techniques. One of them is uh, especially, uh, you know, that the shoulder problems for uh, the patients, uh, uh, subluxation of the shoulder, uh, hemiplegic uh, patients. I use always the for the uh, sensory motor integration for the hands, uh, the uh, applying the EDF techniques for each uh, finger. Uh, to the uh, elbow, and uh, the another one is uh, used the related to functional uh, method of uh, kinesia taping um, while uh, walking uh, without restricted or uh, the uh, foot. Uh, I apply always use the uh, foot uh, for the uh, drop foot uh, problem. And then the another one is the fixed up uh, the uh, application for the mechanical correction for the uh, actually uh, to the shoulder, the not only f forward position and backward, hold on here, and then keep that position for the uh, fixed up uh, the correction of the posture. Uh, then, um, how kinesia taping could be useful? Uh, yeah, I mentioned that. Uh, what it calls veins. Then the last one is there immediate and long-term effects of kinesia taping on balance and functional performance. Uh, we don't have any studies and long-term effects of kinesia taping, but yes, immediate uh, effects a, a lot. Uh, I use. Uh, always uh, these uh, parameters, especially uh, balance and uh, functional performance in uh, athletes. Uh, and uh, besides the uh, post-stroke patients and uh, distributions of the walking problems, and after surgical skills for the uh, osteoarthritic uh, patients, especially after uh, applying arthroplastic uh, patients, that that one is a good reaction uh, for correction of the uh, that one is uh, functional uh, performance and uh, balance uh, problems, and it is very easy to use uh, the technique of kinesia taping uh, on the immediate and the long-term uh, effects, but uh, we don't have any studies and long-term effect. Uh, of course, we can do that uh, uh, easily, but uh, at my hospital, uh, we cannot uh, uh, fix, uh, figure out the 
patients of the uh, treatment protocols uh, long-term effects of uh, any treatment modalities. Now, actually, can we use kinesotape for correction of gainerecuratum in small kids suffering from spastic paraplegia? Yes, uh, we always use uh, that one as a uh, kinesiotaping uh, for correction of gainerecuratum in especially in, uh, spastic uh, cerebral palsy patients. And uh, then uh, we have a lot of patients and related to the uh, the gainerecuratum problems uh, in spastic uh, paraplegia. Uh, always we use that one, the technique of the mechanical correction, uh, 50 uh, to 75 percentage of kinesia taping in, in uh, the knee joint. And then uh, this is good uh, materials uh, for uh, using then the brace material for each uh, children. And uh, then another uh, question might be its effect on balance, uh, balance because we can also use taping as a biofeedback. Yes, very good. And uh, we have an um, uh, article uh, related to the balance and uh, especially uh, uh, performance uh, parameters uh, for the taping uh, by using a biofeedback but my subject is here just only uh, reducing of pain or no effects of pain uh, in literature uh, I can explain in detail or I can send a uh, research article uh, to you and which techniques should be used either inhibition or support for pain reduction uh, now, uh, there are two kinds of options here. One of them is related to if the new patient, uh, the patient has new uh, uh, acute problems, new uh, problems and knee injury. Of course, we apply, use, just only using the kinesiotaping materials, distal to proximal or insertion to origin of the muscle. Uh, this is good material and actually uh, then uh, the uh, support the uh, fixed up the rest of time uh, of injured area. The another one is the supporting of the uh, joint or injured area and we can apply that um, uh, if the problem is uh, um, uh, not acute, uh, only chronic problems, or supportive the area of, or uh, increase of the functional performance, of course you can use that uh, facilitation technique, and this technique is related to the um, uh, only uh, proximal to uh, in uh, that area to distal side, or uh, in origin to insertion of the uh, injured um, area or the muscle. That that one is a, it means that entitled uh, facilitation techniques. The another one is a inhibition inhibition techniques of muscle. We use just only for muscle techniques. And another problem is related to the uh, we use the fixed up the uh, joint for only uh, using that mechanical correction 50 to 75 percentage of uh, tape uh, 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 support here. And then, uh, share your mail, uh, my, uh, email, I'm gonna write here, uh, jules.baltag at gmail. Okay, Dr. Anket. Yes, uh, I will. I will post it on the screen. Uh, just yeah, uh -huh. just post it on the comment section. Yeah, I'll just post yeah. it on the screen. I, I, yeah, yes. I have uh, three three uh, uh, emails, but that one is uh, my private email. Ejul that at gmail dot com. Okay. 
देर इज अ वेरी नाइस कॉम्प्लीमेंट फॉर यू मैम थैंक यू मैम द गुड टीचर एक्सप्लेन्स द सुपीरियर टीचर डेमोस्ट्रेट्स थैंक्स फॉर वंडरफुल रिस्पॉन्सेज एंड आई एम रियली थैंकफुल टू यू टू यू हैव जॉइंड अस एज अ स्पीकर एंड एंड थैंक यू फॉर योर वंडरफुल नॉलेज एंड वी विल बी इन कीप इन टच विद यू थैंक यू सो मच now uh thank you very much uh, for everything this is a really good uh, e conference uh for kinesia taping and uh, actually uh, we can share uh, uh, all of uh, experiences and information by using the this conference and thanks a lot uh, for your organization of this uh, meeting dr ankit uh, and actually i hope uh, I will be come to your country. It's really impressive and really good people, really fun people, and every color is really nice. <laughs> Thank you. I will. Thanks, I uh, I will definitely invite you, and so that you can uh, you can uh, give your uh, complete knowledge uh, to our students, those who are not able to join uh, this session. But definitely, we will soon work it out, and uh, and definitely, I'll invite you in my university. And I'm giving you the formal invitation now itself, so we will plan up for it. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye, Doc.